New at six, this robot controlled, this remote controlled robot will play a key role in an upcoming project aimed at locating bombs and chemical weapons. The military dumped off the coast of Oahu nearly a century ago. As our Allison Blair reports, many of those hidden hazards are believed to be submerged in water just a few feet deep. Researchers at UH Manoa say Hawaii seafloor is littered with upwards of 100,000 rotting military munitions, some of which are believed to be extremely close to shore. HNN Investigates was there as crews prepared to test new technology designed to pinpoint lost explosives. For nearly a century, the ocean has hidden a part of Hawaii's history most people know nothing about. At the end of World War II, the U.S. military sunk a portion of its wartime arsenal. Most of the dump sites were never documented. Your options were to burn the munitions, to bury the munitions, or to dispose of them at sea. And disposing of them at sea was seen as the least harmful option. Today, we find munitions in feet of water. Um, that's in Hilo, that's here, that's potentially even over in Molokai. This underwater video taken in 2021 shows three unexploded ordnance on the ocean floor about 300 yards off Lena'i South Shore. The explosives were reported by two recreational divers. Lots of bombs out there. Now the University of Hawaii is at the forefront of a new effort to find these decaying munitions in places people are most likely to come in contact with them. The Department of Defense recently approved a two year project allowing the school to develop a maritime test range complex, a place for engineers from all over the world to test their new technology to see if it works. And this remote controlled robot will play a big part in making that happen. Out here on the water, we have an uncrewed surface vessel, uh, which is a platform onto which we can set up sensors that can monitor things in the water. Some of the gadgets tested will be mounted onto the robot before they're sent out to sea. And the way we're going to do that is by setting up surrogates or fake munitions that are safe um, to see if their techs can do the detection that we're expecting. But before the launch of the Maritime Test Range Complex later this summer, UH is doing some test runs at Sand Island. Today we're doing something slightly different. We're doing visual detection. This is some of the imagery that was captured by that underwater camera. After nearly a century on the seafloor, it's unclear what impacts lost munitions could have on the environment. It's why researchers say efforts like this are crucial. They were made of steel, steel rusts. We don't know, for example, if they've been leaking what was inside of them for a long period of time or something catastrophic is going to happen tomorrow and what was previously an intact bomb is suddenly going to go poof and release a bunch of toxic material into the environment. Hawaii isn't the only place where the issue of lost munitions is a problem. UH says there are similar dump sites off countries all over the world. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.